Welcome to a very spontaneous scrapbooking haul. If you have watched any of my scrapbook videos before, you know I'm very much into the resourceful scrapbooking. I kind of made up this term that basically means I use things like old birthday cards, chocolate wrappers, wallpaper, tissue, stuff that's free. So I don't often buy things for my scrapbook other than my scrapbook. But it was my birthday and when people ask me what I would like for my birthday, the first thing that comes to my mind is washi tapes and stickers. I do have a 10% coupon code for the washi tape because I asked the company I bought a lot. But I will link everything that I normally use, like my scrapbook, my label maker, my ink stamp sets, they will also be linked in the description box below. So starting off super simple, we have some instant film. This is the new film that Fujifilm has come out. My sister got this for me to go in my Instax Mini Link printer and I can already see the kind of retro London scrapbook page that I have in mind. I also ran out of the label tape that's inside of my label maker. So rather than just buying black label tape to replace it i also got some gold ones i feel like the gold tape will go really well with the contact sheet film so i think that'll be quite a nice spread you can get these in loads of colors so pinks and blues and greens but i am really aware that the embossing is in white so if you get a light colored like a light pink tape you might not be able to read it as clearly so i thought i'd stick with a gold and a black then my parents let me have a lovely shopping spree on etsy and i found this lovely shop called lovely box by tina and she had a discount on at the time she probably does still have it which was something like free shopping when you spend over 42 dollars and a 10 percent off when you buy five items so i tried to maximize the discounts as she was shipping from abroad i thought the free shipping discount was very much worth it so the first thing that i picked from her website was this 30 piece postcard set but I am a huge postcard fan not only do I send these to my pen pals if I was going to decorate my room again and if I had a big room with big white walls I would love to decorate my room with these this might be a bit preemptive but say if I go on a nice nature holiday with my friends or we go to the countryside or something like this I could use one of these as the postcards on the page on the scrapbook page sell a tape up here flip it up and then and write about it on the back. I mean either that or I go to a really nice concert or something and I want to do a page dedicated to the music or the concert I could use one of these as like a fake brochure for the evening rather than paying £10 for it. So two stickers I got loads of stickers from her website but the ones that I really like are these retro dried flowers and I thought they would be perfect to do kind of not just scrapbooking but also bullet journals they look like real life flowers i've already got white flower stickers and i thought a bit of color is really helpful so say if i've got some purple pictures i can add these purple stickers to it or if i'm doing a yellow page these ones are perfect for that still on the theme of flower stickers i got even more this is a 51 pack and this is a 58 pack again the whisper ones are pretty simplistic so it would just be great to add a little bit of green to a page or a bit of blue whereas the herb stickers are a little bit more vibrant and they have a really nice kind of watercolor texture to them so I think not only can I use these in my scrapbooks but I'm planning to use these on some kind of birthday cards mother's day cards I should also say though because they were shipped from China it did take quite a while for them to arrive definitely worth the wait the final set of stickers that I got from her Etsy shop are these stamp ones. I love Peter Rabbit, so big fan of that. They have some really pretty lace detailing on them and because I like to put envelopes on my scrapbook pages so that I can add in extra information and extra photos and stuff, I thought putting one of these on the top corner would make it look a little bit more realistic. Also just add a bit more detail. I've never seen anything like that before, so I thought that was pretty fun. The final thing that I got from her website was some washi tape. I love how deep and rich the blue is and and the gold is embossed so it's really shiny and I think they are cranes but I liked it because it was so thick so if I have a bit of a space at the bottom of a page and I, it just looks a bit bare I can just do a thick strip of this and it will just make it look really nice so now we have come on to washi tape time I have enough to last a lifetime I was even thinking I could maybe do a giveaway with some of the ones that I think I just might have too much so this is all from the washi tape shop the coupon code is Maying10, so that should give you 10% off. So I got two three-piece sets from her. So the dark blue one is a three-piece peacock emerald gilded washi tape set. And then the bluey green one is the three-piece Phoenix reborn gilded washi tape set. What I liked about the sets is that, again, they have the variety in the widths of the washi tapes. So they've got a thin one and two thick ones. And I just thought the designs on them were so beautiful. I'd, I'd literally never seen anything like it before. To get a washi tape with this 
rich purple tone in it is really rare. Same goes with this one. It's also the watercolour effect, which I love. Big fan. Koi fish are definitely my favourite fishes. And I really like the kind of Asian style that they would add to a page. Poke and stick tattoo kind of design with the gold dots. I just think it, it's so detailed. And then the other set that I got is this Tenohira Chameleon gilded washi tape set. I'm not sure if it's coming out on camera, but it's got a lovely kind of electric blue with the crimson red and it just works so well. And then the other one's kind of florally, which I thought added something a little bit different. Then these set of five are called the Abbey Garden set. This Magnolia one is by far one of my favourites. I just love the colours in it. I think I really like golds and blues and because of the white flower I just thought it was really delicate, really pretty. The red one looks a little bit more like a poppy and then we've got some blue flowers which kind of looks more like a field of flowers and then maybe a purple petunia, not really sure again. What I realised is that in my current washi tape collection they're all pretty simple and there's not much colour in them. I got like a 20 pack off Amazon or something. They are good and they're a lot thinner than these ones but I really liked the kind of Asian style on this website. So can we appreciate the packaging on these? I love the tissue paper. If I can save it, I definitely would. But we can have a little break from the Asian theme. This is a 10 piece savoury pastel grid washi tape set. I could picture these working so well in a bullet journal. You've got the really nice pastel pinks but then you've also got the warm toned browns and the peach pinks in here. Not sure if I need 10 of them so We'll see, that might be part of the giveaway. Oh, wow. Oh, that might be my favorite set. I think the gold kind of burgundy one would be so nice in even a Christmas spread. You've got the white and gold one, which kind of gives me beach vibes, like the sea and the waves. This big mountain one is so pretty. And then you've got the sunset and the Chinese lanterns. So I could do a really nice Chinese New Year one. This set is called the Phoenix Washi Tape Set. I remember I picked it because I loved the Phoenix feathers in this one with the waves. These tapes are so pretty, I could just stare at them all day. <laughs> this one is like a purple mountain scene. The attention to detail on these with the little white birds flying and everything. Oh yeah, look at the colours on that. This is the Azure Washi Tape. So we've got lotus flowers in here, we have koi fish, We've got whales with the flying cranes and the coral and the fish. It's so hard to get the richness in colour and then also to get the kind of gold shimmer in it to make them look like stars. It's just so creative. And then the final one, this I thought was maybe a bit risky. This one is called the Arcane Elf. So these ones are a little bit more mystical. They have kind of these elves in each of the tapes. You might be able to see it better on the website, but there's a girl swimming in the green lake. There's a girl in between the reeves. There's an elf, I should probably say, who's running on a deer in one of these. I'm not sure how I'd use them on a scrapbook page, but I will find a way. I'd never seen a washi tape where they have a story drawn on the tape itself so I just thought that was really interesting really intriguing this is essentially a washi tape and sticker haul I really hope you enjoyed it I really geek out on stationery and this kind of stuff so I hope you enjoyed it if you did please do give the video a thumbs up if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe for more videos on this channel and I'll see you soon have a lovely day bye